Well, actually, we're gonna have to put off the Temp Librarian Plus stuff even longer, because Constance isn't actually in the factory right now, and I didn't realize that. So, whoops. But we're still gonna go ahead and explore Trat Plains, because we haven't really done that yet, and it's about time. Whoa, sheep. Uh, whoops. So, we have a creepy sheep. It buffed our strength and debuffed our defense. It's a dirty, calculating sheep. Beware of its sleep attacks. I forget if we've seen these before. So, don't use water or air magic on them. Instead, hit them with big swords. Yeah, well, it's a good thing that there's only one of them, so completely botching the preemptive strike didn't matter too much. So what is this, a robot bunny? It is a an armored rabbit. A ferocious rabbit-like monster wrapped in a thick hide attacks with a deadly strike. It takes 1.5 times damage from every element, or every element, from all elemental magic. I think we're about to take a critical hit. I'm gonna deal 111 damage. That works. Not getting a lot of experience from these enemies because we're so much higher level than them, but... Um, for what it's worth, I didn't really act really change too much on Agate's Quartz setup. I gave him Haze. Didn't bother opening the other two slots because I don't think we're gonna use him that much. And that sheep is just phasing through that rock right there. I knew they were creepy, but I didn't know they were intangible, too. Let's see, another sheep. And let's see. Guess we'll go to Wolf Fort first. Or at least in that general direction. We get a Tira Balm. You have found the missing link. I wondered where he was. We gotta have someone to, you know, someone to rescue Zelda. So it is a grasshopper. That doesn't look even slightly like a grasshopper, but I get that it's a play on the crop munchers. It's a grass in the grass and it hops, despite not being a bug. A monster that swarms on the plains, its attack has a weakening effect on its enemies. Mama don't allow no debuffs around here. So you're gonna die. There'll be no crop munching and no grasshopping. Whoa, so many sheep. Uh, let's see. So. Um, you know, actually, that way is Car Carnelia Tower, and we can wait to explore that, because we're going there anyway. I knew I should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. Yeah, once again. Well, Agate doesn't take any damage from them, so... Oh, and it debuffed his speed. That's... nice. Come on, hit Agate again. And not just because he deserves it, but because he's the tankiest. Well, that speed debuff didn't last too long, at least. So what actually is the levels of these things? Creepy Sheeps are 19, the Grasshoppers are 19. Um... Yeah. And we are level... 21, right? Nugget's 26, so... <laughs> yeah! So back onto, onto the onto the big open plains again. Snick. Okay, Bane Cobra, a monster living on the plains, spits poison at its prey, may call for backup. Slightly weak to fire and wind, and of course it poisons us.
Well, you know, sometimes it's good to have someone around who's just a big hunk of muscle and rocks for brains. And now here's where things get non-linear. I think there's actually not as much stuff around here as I thought there was. But we still gotta check. Yeah, I'm glad I had that Haze Quartz because... There are a lot of enemies here that I don't really feel like dealing with because they don't really benefit me to defeat. Oh hey, Monster Chest. It's more sheep! How very creepy. Yeah, they're not too much of a problem one-on-one, -on -one, but eight of them could be a bit more of an issue. Maybe. So let's see, we can do Flame Smash to hit five of them, or Draguna Edge to hit three at most. Yeah. Easy choice there. Smash them! Knock them all out, all out of range, why don't you? What are they weak to again? Eh, nothing. Oh, let's see, why don't I put it there? Uh, the one who had- okay, it missed, good. I was gonna say, the one who had the critical hit had to actually attack me instead of try to just debuff. Yes, yes, I know. You're giving me bad touches. Uh, let's see, is there any way I can steal that Sepith bonus from them? Not that they drop anything we particularly need, but... Uh, let's see. No, well, she actually can cast fire, so... I'll do that. I don't see us needing it. Man, why do line AOE suck so much? That's as good a one as any, I suppose. Please miss. Ooh, that was a lot. Yeah, we'll see who has the bad touches now. Hey, I actually didn't think that would hit all three of them, but Monster Chest done. More annoying than actually difficult, and we actually got the maximum water and space sepith at the expense of some other stuff. Because I totally need more space sepith, right? And we get the hit three, and we get a hit three quarts. You must be awfully, awfully optimistic if you think more treasure is going to appear in this chest. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't have one of those before, and I'm fairly sure that I mentioned as much. Yeah, increases your likelihood to hit some, uh, something, obviously. Probably not worth it unless you have nothing else to, to put in the slot, or you really need that five mirage value. And unless you are strapped for Chaos Brand Elemental Value, you probably don't. So let's see. Whoops. Ah, run right into the bunny, why don't we? Now you got it excited. Hippity bop. Ah, oh, well, whatever the whatever status effect that was, I don't care about it. I guess we could use a little bit of healing. Uh, 
That's what happens after I play a different game with similar controls, but not identical. Well, that was not very much healing at all. <laughs> yeah, I should have actually checked how much HP we did need. Don't need to fight that grasshopper. But we can get another tier ball. It wouldn't be empty if you hadn't already looted it, now would it? Oh, well, you never know, somebody else could have looted it. I could have looted it. Okay, so this is actually just Elma, Elma Village. Hmm. Did I check down here? Yeah, like I said, there's a lot more just empty space and kind of nothing out here than I thought there was. So I guess we could see if there's anything to explore on any of the other nearby roads. Yeah, we've seen all the enemies that you can fight in this area, so... Whatever. I guess the only other exit is the Ritter Roadway. I don't think there's anything important to get here. I'll also be there later, so yeah. Well, might as well. Because next time we're here, we can just skip all the enemies again. Oh, it's another mushroom snake. How quaint. And another armored rabbit, and another creepy sheep. How unoriginal. But there's not a whole lot of different local wildlife uh, wildlife around here. But there's a chrono cider, which I guess technically we've already seen, but... Hey, now there's one as a normal enemy. But remember, this slug has no, no weak points. Lots of HP, too. It is weak to angry men with red hair and large swords. That's what it's weak to. Critical aerial. That's when the little mermaid complains a lot. Well, one good thing about the Crino Cider is it's slow. Just have 528 HP more, more, more HP to eat through. And yes, more strength and more defense. That's certainly what it needed. Okay, just don't miss, Estelle. Don't miss. Thank you. Even got some time sepith out of it. I guess it does have Chrono in the name, but... Like... The only time-related thing it seems to do is be slow, so... Forget if we've seen these yet. War Mantis has a swift attack that interferes with arts, only attacks males. That's... weird. Very weak to wind, and fairly so to fire, but we can also just stab it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we saw a pallet swap of these in the Nabal Valley, but I don't think we saw this specific enemy previously. Okay, so what happens if you fight these with a party of all women? Do they just not do anything? I mean, I don't know if there's actually any place in this game when you could do that, since I can't think of anywhere where you wouldn't have both Estelle and Joshua. 
Like, I think even in the final dungeon, you still have to have That's those me. two. Don't mind me just going for a hike to warm up before we go to Carnelia Tower. Another Chrono Cider. We certainly don't need to fight another of those. So there's the gate. La 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 la, we're walking along the road. Okay, is there any treasure on Sold Out Army Road? Seems like we've been here too, but... Well, actually, I guess we went here when we did the shoe thing. And hey, an unopened treasure chest. Another tear balm. It's empty, diabolical! Another stinking chrono cider? Pass. You'd think the army would do a better job of keeping the road not infested with creepy sheep. It's empty, heinous! Insert your own adjective. Oh, big, uh, big crop muncher. The Mega Hopper. Okay, Hopper Chief. Didn't we fight this exact formation of enemies in a monster chest or something? Okay, we'll flicker it. Yeah, that is a very awkward formation for area of effect attacks. I can still flame smash it, but... And completely miss. I get you're practically kissing that thing. How did you miss it? And as usual, I can't hit more than one thing with that. use this in a while, so... Actually, what are these things weak to? Fire, right? Um... Okay. Well, I was gonna be cool and use Diamond Dust. No pun intended, but... Ariel costs half the mana and hits more things anyway, so... And deals more... Well, I don't know if it would actually deal more damage. Dealt more damage to that one, at any rate. Well, let's go for the big one again. And Agat hasn't gotten to cast magic. I mean, admittedly, that's pretty much because he sucks at magic, but... Uh, he doesn't even have any multi-target things. But sure, why not? You set that big beast on fire. Can I actually hit two things with this? Didn't think so. Again, why are Estelle's crafts so terrible? Oh, just wanna run away like a wuss, why don't ya? This battle is taking so long, we actually heard the music loop. That really looks like it should hit both of them. It really does. Why the heck not? I don't think the Chief does anything particularly problematic, but... Yeah, go ahead, heal. See if I care. Can I actually hit more than thing one thing with this? Hey, I can! It's amazing! And why don't we go have him go finish that one off? 
And that one ran away like a weenie, and that one ran away like a weenie. Been intimidated now that we defeated your leader, are we? Well, that one still has some fight left in it. <laughs> and we're all the way over there. A good grasshopper never leaves a man behind. More treasure, AP charge X. Ooh, do we have any of those yet? It's empty, outrageous. Like I said, insert your own adjective. Uh, no, that's the first one of those we've gotten and it restores 300 EP. Which is a fair bit for this game. Still not a full heal, but... Yeah, honestly, these roads are so full of nothing that we should have just gotten all the treasure when we went down them first. Curia Ball. Double dipping is against the rules. Not if everyone's family. Just don't let Agate near the chest. Okay, and there's License Fortress. And I can't view a map of it. That's weird when I could show one, when it would show one of St. Time Gate. Well, anyway, I think we're done exploring. I think it's time to actually move on with the story at long last. Since for some reason the librarian's gone AWOL and we can't do our side quests. Oh, here's a treasure chest I missed, and another EP Charge X. Nice. You came back! I knew you would! That one seems like it would be easy to miss. Or is there... It's not really hidden, but... It's in a place where it doesn't look like there'd be a treasure chest, I guess. Okay, now we can head east to, well, not Carnelia Tower yet, but at least in that general area. So yeah, here we are. New territory, folks. Same old enemies, I'm sure. Yeah, that really looks like there should be something there, but nope. And we'll go down here first. Uh-oh. The bunny, the bunny, let's fight the bunny. Let's make the bunny excited. And watch it knock Agate out. Hmm. Guess it doesn't inflict it all the, all the time. I'm guessing it was faint that it would have done... Let's move out. Another tear balm. You have found the missing link. Wait a minute, didn't we get that message already? So either Xseed forgot to change the message, or some of them actually did share pointers. Anything over here? 
Just a bunch of stupid sheep. Oh, here we go. It's... I think there's actually... No, that's the same formation as before. Well, since this is clearly a boss, as you can tell from the music, let's go ahead and use some more fancy... some fancier stuff on them. Play dead? Don't worry, I'll make it so you won't have to play. Okay, I can hit those three. Smash them! Oh, don't blind the physical attacker, you jerk. I don't care. Total waste, but... Like I said, I don't use a lot of CP with Estella anyway, and... That didn't even kill it. Wait, did it heal the chief? Interestingly, White Gehenna is one of those that doesn't seem like it got any sort of equivalent after the Sky series. Okay, you can hit two things with that, so I'll do that. Your IT has been delayed forever. Hopper Chief is powering up at an alarming rate. Whatever shall we do? This. Wow! Oh, right, he's blinded. The blindness only lasted for one turn, thankfully, but still. Okay, I could... Mm, yeah. So much CP usage. I guess technically this fight has been harder than the last one, but that was out of pure luck, and I'm sure. Pure luck and, um, I don't know, using different combinations of moves. I like how them playing it, playing dead counts as a charge attack when all it's done, it, all it does is waste their turn. Wake up! Or die, that works too. Got some actually decent Sepeth off that. Again, I don't... Okay, we get the long barrel. The chest is oh so very empty. So the long barrel is not useful for anyone except Olivier and Tita. Neither of whom we have in the party right now. But what it does is increase the range of gun-type weapons. So Tita's cannon and Olivier's pistol. Let's see. Just gonna do that twice. It's still cheaper than Latira. Honestly, I like Olivier or Oliv Olivier better, because Olivier just sounds too feminine. I mean, I realize who we're talking about here, but still. So I suppose there's only one thing left to do at this point. I guess we didn't really check out the north part of this area. Another monster chest! 
And it's another Hopper Chief. Okay. Uh, second verse, same as the first. Use White Gehenna and... Even worse. I don't know. Now that's what I call a double blind study. Hmm. Now I'm gonna try that. And that one escaped beyond the radius of that. Well, that backfired. That seriously backfired. Okay, you just stay put and clear your eyes. I suppose it's a good thing that the grasshoppers are so weak, because if they were actually a threat and ran to the other side of the battlefield all the time, that could be annoying. Well, at I at least hit two of them. And how about a double strike, or dual strike? How about triple strike? How about you stop powering up at an alarming rate? That's probably gonna miss. Yeah, that missed. You stop that right now! Like, I don't mind you guys wasting your turns, but can you waste your turn close to me? Congratulations, you got a critical nap! Good job! Smash. Anime yell. That'll teach you to keep healing on my watch. I mean, I guess if it's not inflicting status effects, that's good. I think about it, does I get have two S crafts right now? Cause I don't think we've even seen one of them. And of course it ran away. Yeah, he totally does. And that one's an, an area M, and that one's a single, so... Not really any reason to set the former as his S-break. Boy, talk about prolonging the fight. Sheesh! Yeah, like I said, that wasn't that threatening, but it took a while. And we got vegetables and a black bangle. I feel so empty inside. Same, though. So what does that do? Prevent sleep. That was totally worth it! Well, I guess play boring games, win boring prizes. Oh, we don't need to fight more of these, but... Okay, we can handle two of them. Yeah. 
Exterminate. Yeah, run a little bit farther away and take it and play dead again. That's gonna help. So let's see. Over here. So don't miss this area, by the way. It can be easy to miss. It's not a very wide pathway. And this will be important later, too, for one of the Temple Librarian things. And we have another monster chest and yet another Hopper Chief. Man, you weren't even blinded, blinded that time and you still missed, dude. What's with that? Whatever you're doing, I don't want it. I keep thinking that she has an impede craft, but she doesn't. So, uh... What do I do? <laughs> well, let's do that. Please, yeah, please get faint. Please faint. Dang. Okay. Thankfully, that doesn't deal too much damage. It wasn't very good in our hands, and it's not very good in the Hopper Chief's hands. You know. You play dead. Dang. Okay, got four of them anyway. I'm going to do another F cross because I can, and I'm sick of these things. I forget who has the gladiator accessory right now, actually. I would assume Joshua does, but... Oh yeah, and we have a stealth buff, too. Okay, what do we get for this? Sapphire Talisman. The chest is, you guessed it, empty. And I think I already know what this one does. Yeah, water-based attack and defense. So all we're left with... Oh, I guess we do have all five, all four of them. So, if we ever get four accessory slots, we can equip all of them and become the Avatar. And I guess Agat doesn't actually have any accessories, so we'll prevent blind, because that would have been nice to have a couple battles ago. And faint. So yeah. We'll need to come back to this little area later, but for the time being, 
Let's just move on. That's the bunny. So let's see. Anything over here? Well, I think we've about done all the exploring we need to. And all the exploring we really can at this point in the game. I feel like this lake is relevant later too, or pond, I guess, but I don't remember. Yeah, that's where we need to go, right? Yeah, I'm surprised we don't get a cutscene here, actually, but yeah, we will pick up next time at or near or in the Carnelia Tower, probably just right here. So I will see you then. Actually, before we do that, there's something I nearly forgot about. We need to go to Wolf Fort, which I guess we could have done earlier if I'd thought about it. And yeah. Because we have another chapter of Carnelia to get. Not the tower, but the fictional character. Okay, not you. Not you. Bruno, here we go. Read a book or something. Do you guys like to read? If you want, you can have this one. Ah, good. This book is pretty good. Well, I only hope you got to read the first six. So do we actually have... Okay, good. We haven't missed any. Yeah, I totally could have done that when I was exploring the area if I'd thought of it, but... Eh. Things happen. But it shows you just how easy it is to miss stuff in this game, even when you, even when you are following a guide. So now we will pick up next time right here. <laughs> oh yeah, and I healed off screen too. So anyway, see you next time.